This is the winterization process for a Wilkins 375 RP backflow preventer. What we like to recommend is that you pay close attention to the weather as temperatures start to drop into the 40 degrees. Your plants will start to go dormant and it's getting closer to freezing. So we recommend, better safe than sorry, that you turn your system off and take the vessel out of the backflow. There's a few prop or steps that we'd like to take you through to make sure that you get your sprinkler or irrigation system shut off. First, what you will like what you will do is you will find your stop and waste. You can locate it by the colored cap. And then this is your stop and waste key. This is what you use to turn off your water for your irrigation system. What you'll do is you'll actually insert the stop and waste pipe and you'll move it around until you can actually feel it connect onto the stop and waste. And as you feel it connect onto the stop and waste, what you'll do is you'll like you'll turn it a quarter turn or clockwise to the right to shut your irrigation water off. Then, what we'd like to do is we would like to essentially take out the vessel of the Wilkins backflow. There's a few, few steps that I'd like to show you. First, is we would like to open these three test cocks. This will actually reduce the pressure from the irrigation line. These are ball valves, so as you turn them, they will actually turn as much as you want them to, but we just want to open them up a quarter turn. And as you open these, it's very common that water will come out for 30 seconds to a minute. Now after you, re you have released the pressure from the pipes, what you'll do is you'll start with these two screws, and these will actually come all the way out. After the two screws have come out, there's a triangle piece that says remove to service. This is the wedge that will come out first. And as you take out the wedge, you'll notice that the black piece, the vessel will become loose. What you will want to do is you will like to slide it back and out. Now after you have completed that, we would like to open these, or sorry, close these to a 45 degree angle. We do not want to close these all the way. If we close this, water will become trapped here or here, and this is what will freeze and break. And that's essentially what we're wanting to avoid. If you have an automatic drain system installed into your irrigation system, your, your winterization is complete. For those of you that do not have automatic drains built into your system or do not know, we recommend that you blow your system out. How that is done is the orange piece is inserted into the backflow and then you're going to use your wedge and it slides right in and then we'll screw our screws down to snug. As you're screwing your screws in, you only want to give it about one or two turns and then rotate to the other. As those are snug, what you will be able to do now is connect your air hose to the air hose adapter and then apply the air. And as you do that, you will be able to run your sprinkler systems manually through each zone to ensure that your sprinkler system is blown out. And after you do that, your winterization process is complete.